I'm not sure about genuine users of the network, as I have indicated. It is only those who have not completed the registration process who have the Ghana card, whose services have been blocked. They've had ample opportunity to do so. They have not done so. There are about 8 million of those. And I find it strange to think, as some have, are indicating that all those 8 million Ghana cards are missing. It's not possible. All those 8 million Ghana cards are faulty. It's not possible. So let's see exactly what the issues are. Those who haven't done so, despite the reminders, the services have been blocked. They will be assisted to complete the process if they so require. If they don't, you can't compel them to. She explains further. If you don't focus on the security aspects of what we're doing, we leave our infrastructure application services exposed to attack. We can't do that. So this is a key part of the arrangements we are putting in place to secure our digital ecosystem. It is imperative that we all co collaborate with government to ensure that it is done. Esla Osu Ekufu urged all affected individuals to use the opportunity to update the details of their cards or risk permanently losing them.